Hi, I'm Chris Bradshaw from Hexagon. In this video, now that we have a fully code compliant piping system, we'll look at creating deliverables from our analysis. We'll look at how to generate the report, not just viewing it on screen, but also the export options. And in addition to that, we'll also look at how to automatically generate a fully annotated stress isometric with both input and output data using the isogen module within Caesar 2. All right, so I don't have the output process open at the moment, so I'm going to open that from the main window using this button here. And we can take a quick look at some of the reports. So previously, we already looked at the expansion load case stress report. For EN13480, the sustained load case is also a stress load case as well. So you can select multiple rows within the list of load cases and you can view the report, the stresses report for multiple load cases. So as we see, we have two tabs here, load case four and load case five for the sustained and load case five expansion stresses. As you can see, not much of a, an issue here, 29, 30%, the highest stress in the sustained load case and as we know, the expansion load case, 70% of the allowable is the highest stress. Other load cases, as we see in the list here, perhaps you may want to look at the operating load case, uh, displacements or restraint loadings. So if I take a look at the restraint summary report, for the operating load case, here we can see the loadings on all of the different restraints that we have, including the spring hangers here. So here's the load on the spring hanger at node 70. The anchors at uh, 100 and 200. These are our uh, pump connections. We see all those loadings here. And with the spring hangers, you can also review which spring hangers were selected by Caesar 2 by viewing the hanger table report as you see here so i chose carpenter and patterson as the spring hanger manufacturer and at node 70 caesar 2 chose a dv35 size 4 to cope with 6.78 millimeters of vertical movement and a hot load of 1141 newtons okay so as well as viewing all of these reports on screen Generally, you probably want to provide these to somebody else. So we can also generate the reports and send to Microsoft Word. You can do that with individual reports by hitting this button here to view the report using Word. Or you can generate a full report for multiple load cases using the Output Viewer wizard. So, for example, if we wish to send out, let's just do the ones that we've looked at. So the Operating Load Case Restraint Summary and hit the add button to add to the list here. Sustained and expansion stress reports, add to the list, and perhaps also the hanger table with text. And so on, of course, we can add more and more reports. But once we've got the reports that you wish in the list, then you choose where you want to send them, this time to Microsoft Word, and hit finish. So these are two will then launch Microsoft Word in the background and start outputting the reports into the Word document. And once complete, we get a message to show that the output is complete. Okay. And here is a typical Microsoft Word document that's been generated. All of the reports shown are exported in tabular format, so they're very easy to, to work with, to modify. You just simply change the design of the table. For example, very quick, very easy with the styles available in Microsoft Word. And this is now a plain Word document. This can be modified, generated, exported to PDF, etc., as required. Okay, and also to supplement the reports, give a bit of context, it may be useful to generate stress isometrics to assist with that. Caesar 2 includes isogen for generating stress isometrics. 
Also included in Caesar 2 is the iConfigure module for setting up and configuring an isometric style. Uh, but Caesar 2 does come with a default style, uh, which is what I'm going to use here, that doesn't involve any setup. Um, but of course you can create your own using iConfigure. But how to generate the isometrics? You access the Generate Stress Isometrics from the Home tab, which loads the Stress Isometrics module. Here you see a graphical representation of your model, and there's some buttons at the top where we can edit and attach the various different annotations that we like. So there's a few tabs available here. All input data, all output data, and any custom annotations can be defined. So for the input, node numbers, usually very useful. So I'm going to select from the drop down list the feature that we wish to annotate. We get a table of the available values to specify. And for the node numbers, I'm going to annotate every node number. So I'm going to check the box on the first row, hit shift on my keyboard and check the box on the last row to check every single row. So I want all node numbers annotated. Any of the other data can be annotated. So maybe the temperature, T1, I've only got T1, and maybe the pressure, pressure P1, etc. So again, checking the boxes to annotate the necessary information. And then for the output data on the output page, hit generate output to produce the output in a suitable format, and then choose from the available low cases which information you wish to annotate. So here I'm going to annotate the restraint loads in the operating case for all restraints. I'm also going to go to the hanger data, annotate both of the spring hangers, and then I'm going to also annotate the high stress points. And the high stress points were for the sustain load case was around the bend at node 20. And for the expansion load case, the highest stress was at node number 90. So checking the appropriate boxes. Now, the graphics area will look Generally, there will be a little bit of overlap around all the boxes and so forth. Don't worry about that. Isogen will resolve all of that and make sure that there is a very clean isometric. So once you've checked, checked all of the boxes, and if you want to, you can add custom annotations. So maybe annotate node number one vessel connection, for example, and the element annotations. I can add down here at the valve which is 74 to 76. This is a check valve, so I can add an annotation. This is a check valve and so on. Once you've created all of the annotations, simply hit on create isometric drawing. Here you can choose which style you want to use. If you have used iConfigure, you can use an existing style or with no setup required whatsoever, you can simply use the default style to generate an isometric straight away. If you want to generate a DWG, you don't need to tick the PDF files tick box, but if you also want to generate a PDF file, check that box and Caesar 2 will automatically create a PDF version of your stress ISO. And that's all you have to do. Hit OK. Caesar 2 will then pass the data to Isogen and the isometrics will be generated. I've received two drawings, one PDF version and one DWG version of the model. No errors. And I'm just going to view the output result. And here is my resulting stress isometric. Here are the stress levels, restraint loads, there's my temperature, my pressure, all of the node numbers annotated, all of the restraint loads annotated. and here is my custom vessel connection annotation and my custom check valve annotation. Hanger data. And fully dimensioned. So all of the data that we, that we specified 
we wanted to include on the isometric. So, I hope you found that useful. Why not take a look at some of the other export options for reports? You can export to Excel, for example. Or, alternatively, why not have a look at the iConfigure module? To look into customising your own stress isometric style, such as maybe adding your own drawing border. But remember, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching.